An early start to rainy season in Central African Republic has worsened the plight of hundreds of thousands of people sheltering from religious violence in makeshift camps, raising the risk of malaria and dysentery. In the city's largest camp, where 70,000 people are packed together beside the runway of Mpoko International Airport, residents waded through up to 12 inches of muddy waters. Six months of heavy rains typically begin in early April, but on Sunday, a downpour struck the riverside capital, Bangui. Most of the displaced have makeshift shelters made from tarpaulins and palm leaves on this swampy soil. These are the conditions we are living in. When the rain comes, the area is flooded and we cannot sleep properly. The children are getting sick and the older people too are getting sick. We are not getting any help to build more tents for the displaced and we are always having problems. The UN Children's Fund UNICEF said it was seeking sites in the capital where the soil is more absorbent. With the rain that fell yesterday, it's deplorable deplorable and a shame we're here. Here you will see the people are not different from war thugs wading in the mud because Bangimpoko is a marshy area. And the least we can say is that they're living in inhumane conditions that are not acceptable. Aid workers are encouraging people to return to their homes, but many are reluctant, citing the risk of revenge attacks, especially against Muslims. Regarding the rainy season that just started, we are already working with representatives in the communities. They must mobilize each representative in the districts. Each representative must mobilize 10 to 25 families to dig a waterway in order for the water to drain out somewhere so that there is no stagnant water that remains in the area. Officials at the UN Office of the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, in Bangui, said the rains would make it much harder to reach isolated parts of the Central African Republic. Close to 300,000 people have also fled to neighboring Chad and Cameroon. Many face food and water shortages and have no shelter.